Hello. Um, so I got a new webcam and so I was like, I need to experiment with my video camera and make a video. <clears throat> so my video was going to be about this whole Twilight thing. This whole Twilight, what's it called? Uh, people being obsessed with it. This whole pop culture train of Twilight. Now, I was a big Harry Potter fan. I, I watched, or I read every book, I watched every movie, um, and so I, I told myself when Twilight came out, I was like, I cannot, I cannot be a Twilight fan until Harry Potter is completely over, because Twilight isn't the new Harry Potter, <clears throat> apparently. So I was like, I cannot, I cannot. So I haven't. I did not read the books, I did not watch any of the movies. Well, recently, one of my best friends um, admitted that he was a Twihard, and I was like... <sighs> Oh my gosh, not you too. So, um, he took me to see uh, Eclipse, the new movie, which is the third out of the four books. So I was like, I'm not going to know what's going on, and, you know, whatever. So, uh, he told me a little bit about what was going on, and I went to see the movie. <sighs> I don't know if it's just how it's portrayed in the movies, or what. I mean, I can't, I don't really want to diss this saga because I have not read it and I've heard from one of my friends that reading the books the books are actually better written and it's a better story in the books than it is if you watch it on the movie so um, I can't speak for that because I haven't seen that but I just what I got from Eclipse was just it's, it's stupid like she wants she wants to be dead to be with him I mean I guess that's supposed to be true love, but I don't, I don't get it. Maybe it's because the actors and the actresses didn't really portray and feel the love and show it, because I just feel like Edward didn't love her in the movie. He didn't seem to love her. He, she didn't really seem to love him. And like, I'm, from the phone movie that I saw, I'm team, I'm team Jacob. I'm Team Jacob, even though I don't want to have anything to do. But if I had a pick, I would be Team Jacob. Because I, you feel sorry for the guy. That's probably why I'll pick him. Because he's the underdog and she doesn't love him. Well, she loves him, but she loves Edward more. But you just feel sorry for him because, I mean, he's like, I can give you life. I can give you a human life. I can give you children. I can give you this and that. And he truly loves her. I mean, you come to find out in the fourth one that he just is imprinting on his daughter, or her daughter, and that's the the connection that he has with her, which is very creepy and weird. But, um, and I hear the whole fourth book, or fourth movie, or whatever you want to call it, fourth part, is just really weird, and like, just keeps going on of weirdness. I mean, Edward's dead, and he can produce a kid. Okay, whatever. Um, apparently, you still have sperm in the afterlife. Who knew? Anyway, I know it's just fantasy, and I know it's it's not, it's not of no importance. And I mean, Harry Potter's of no importance. So if someone just Harry Potter, I can't. I don't know. It's just, I guess, what you like and what people read and what people like. But this whole spark about it and everyone liking it and it being a big phenomenon I don't see that but I mean you like what you like so um like I said I haven't read any of the books I haven't seen any of the movies except for Eclipse but I just don't see what the whole big ordeal is on Twilight um so yeah thanks for watching